reading up on combat so that, uh, you know, we don't get hit with a freaking. What the fuck do we do? So, okay. it's, it doesn't seem too bad. So instead of like, um, uh, speed, you use, um, it's called, you use zones. It's weird. Like, so you just say, oh, I'd like to move from zone blah to blah. And then it's up to me to say, oh, okay, you can move there, or you don't quite make it yet, but you're at the end. Something like that. Gotcha. So that's what that whole medium, close, short range is, long range, <clears throat> extreme range. Uh, what else? Normal speed. You can use a free action to move anywhere within the current zone and can use their move to move to an adjacent zone. Ah. Cool. all right so basically <clears throat> if you want to move within a zone it's free if you want to move to another zone it costs a move action mm -hmm. i see how it works okay jumping climbing crawling swimming, swimming we'll get there when we get there this is gonna be a very rough you know start because it's kind of just thrown together i have kind of what I want y'all to do know what y'all want to do in the first. Hey, what's up, Sam? What's up, sup? Much. How you doing, Sam? No, hello, Cowboy Tanaka. Are you there, Cowboy Tanaka? Are? Nani? What? <clears throat> Cowboy hello. Tanaka. Hello there. Hold on, real quick. Straight on Chris. Yeah, wait. Hello. Chris, now. My name is. Nah. My name is. Hello. 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 Dude, same. <laughs> yeah, man, it's uh, uh, it's it's not a cash money time to be a healthcare worker right now. But oh well, hell no, it's not. Supposedly, census is going down across the board for uh, COVID units. But, uh, That's good, but it's still there. Exactly, like it's just going to be like a holding pattern of Dick Central until it's uh, better. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, so for our dice rolls and stuff, we'll use uh, roll 20. Mm -hmm. That way I could draw terrain up and then we could just, just oh, I want to go here. All right. I want to do uh, some crack cocaine. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. There. I mean, there's a way to roll like D6s. Oh, there it is. There's a way to make it 3D, though. I guess we're just waiting on Chris now. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, so I guess we could explain how the game works to Sam. So uh, you got your character sheet, right? I sent it to you. Yes, sir. All right. Right in front me, of me. Uh, pull it up and show. So... Basically how the game works. So you have three stats, body, mind, soul. Body determines basically like, uh, basically if I ask you to do a, let's say athletics, that's an athletic. Athletics is a body trait. If I say to do an athletics check and you have like a one in training and uh, basically you roll a three cause it's a body trait. You would roll three dice, right? Um, that's basically what it means. Uh, what training is, is basically additional dice that could be added to your pool. So, for example, yours is dexterity. You have a training in dexterity. If I asked you to do a dexterity check, what you would do is get three of your dice, because it's a body skill, right? Three dice plus a training. You have one training, so that becomes one extra dice you could add to your roll. You roll the d6s and then the uh based on the difficulty number i have for you basically um 
I don't explain. Basically, that just determines how many uh, dice you can roll, okay? Uh, now, how mm -hmm. difficulties work. Difficulty number... Um, I don't know how to explain. Let me see. We'll use paint, I guess. Hell yeah. Wait, are you streaming or...? Yeah, a little. Yeah. I am. No, no, no. I, I like. I mean, are you sharing screen? Because um, oh, sharing screen. I... You're right. Okay, I'll share screen. Oh wait, if you're on Twitch, I'll just I'll just watch your Twitch. Oh, I'm on I'm on YouTube. I'm streaming this on YouTube so that it saves. Basically, oh. what? Um, here I'll share my screen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like whoa. Like whoa, Scoob. Whoa. That's a lot of as I can, thing. Dad picked up. Okay. Well, he's uh picking up the foods. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen. Go live. Look at my porn. <laughs> hey, 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 man. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. All right. So let's say uh, so if you're looking at the Google search bar, <laughs> so uh. If I ask you to do like a dexterity check, right? I will set in my head. I'll have a, a I'll set a difficulty number. Say you're trying to climb a wall. Mm -hmm. I'll say that that difficulty number. I'm gonna make you roll a, de a dexterity check, and in my head, I'm thinking of like a ratio. So let's say you're trying to climb a tall wall, right? I'm gonna put a difficulty number of a three, four. Three meaning the result you have to roll. Four meaning how many of the dice have to roll the three. So say your um so your dexterity. You have four dice, right? Mm hmm Now I'm asking you to roll three four, meaning out of your four dice, all four of them have to have three and up. That's what it means. Like do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it's just the, the threshold that we have to pass with the rolls to in exactly. order to do them. Right, so you have to have four threes and above. That's what it means, basically. So it's a little bit different from D&D. &D. Uh, makes it more interesting, but uh, what else? Um, so focus. So, for example, you have a focus in dexterity, right? Say you rolled... Uh, let's do a roll... 4d6. I'm gonna put roll 46. You got a 6, a 5, a 4, and a 3, right? Now your focus allows you to add plus 1 to one of your results. So earlier I told you that you needed to roll a 3, 4, right? Yeah. Right. So three of these dice have to be 4 and above. Right? Let's say this is a... Let's say... Or four of these dice have to be a three and above. And they are. Let's just say this is a two. You would fail the test, right? If, so even if the overall value of each dice, right, is like, say, roll two sixes and one two, even though that would be 12 total points that went in a... That wouldn't fly? No. Because you have to roll four dice that have a three or above. So, okay. like, if this was a two... Say this was a two, right? This is a passing e. score. Say this was a two, you would have failed. Mm -hmm. But what focus allows you to do is if you have one point of focus in that particular skill, you could add it to the result of one of these dies or distribute it. Say you had three of them, you could distribute it amongst them. So you could add one focus to this die, make it a three, and you pass. Uh -huh. So is it, uh, when we get to the... Whenever, whenever I get y'all to roll, I guess it's a, it'll be a lot easier to... Uh, Turn, like to see how it works uh right so moving on but essentially how you figure out how many dice you roll is based off what the skill uh, check and what your skills correct, are yeah correct yeah um these are just uh i think joseph shared the pdf and they're yeah. just uh these show you these show you the page numbers at which you can find the whatever whatever you need to find out. So like I believe Silver Tongue makes it so that you're able to 
basically smooth talk people. Relentless assault makes it so that you're able to uh, attack a lot easier. I, I don't know. It's really weird. There's a there's a whole bunch of combat stuff that you have to look. At. Those are the page mm -hmm. numbers. How combat works? Um, yeah, so, uh, did mm -hmm. somebody link us to? Yes, it's, the... on, it's on the Discord. Uh, under if you go to my ch uh, Discord channel, it's under Soulbound RPG. Yo, yo, yo. And then, um, so if you want to click that, get access to the uh, thing, to the. Uh, oh, I thought boot. you were like streaming a game already, and that, yeah, I'm oh, done. No. yeah. <laughs> now, nah, for the majority of the stream, it's gonna be like, like this, mm -hmm. basically. And we'll just have us talking. Uh, if it's in combat, I'll draw up a map and whatnot, and then we can determine. Yada, yada, yada. Yo, yo, yo. Um, okay. Moving on with the basics. How combat works, right? You have... Basically, these are... This is your ability to attack, your ability to shoot, mm -hmm. and your ability to defend. Right? How combat works is... You're average at melee combat, right? So, say you're fighting a goblin. A goblin is shit at defense. They're very poor at defense. You have an average attack, they're poor at defense. You look at this chart here, or I do at least. Um, since your attack is one step higher than their defense, you would mm -hmm. have to roll threes. So how you make an attack is you take your weapon skill. So you take one plus whatever, since you're doing combat, like close combat, it would be your body skill, right? So when you take 1 plus the 3, you have 4 d6s to roll. You would have to roll a, uh, you would have to, on, you can make 1 or you could make 3 successful, you can make 1 or 4 successful attacks. Basically when you roll, you have to roll a 3 in order for that attack to hit. Right? Because their defense is lower than your offense. Ho ho ho. So, but let's say your defense, say you're fighting, I don't know, fucking chaos champion or something. Your defense is average. Their attack is superb. So oh, since, no. <laughs> since their attack is uh, at least two steps higher than your defense, they only have to roll twos. So that, that's, that's how combat works. And then in order to deal wounds... You have to get through their toughness right here. So toughness, think about it. It's like a shield, right? Mm -hmm. Toughness, you have to get through all that toughness in order to do a wound, to deal wounds. Armor is like damage reduction. So let's see. Your your cutlasses, right? They do one plus however many successes you do. So you roll four successes. You do five damage. You get through. Five of their toughness, they still have two toughness left before you can start wounding them, right? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, now, how tough, how wounds work is, see how there's a blank spot between, beside each like box here? So there are three types of wounds. There's a minor wound, which is only one damage, one wound of damage. There is a major wound, which deals two boxes of disease damage. And there is a fatal wound, which does three of them. Or a mortal wound. So minor wound, fatal wound. Actually, minor wound, fatal wound, and mortal wound. A mortal wound does three of these boxes. Now, if you run out of life, you are now mortally wounded, right? Um, at that point, you will have to roll. Whenever we get there, I guess we could go over it again. But basically, whenever you're about to fucking die, right... Uh, Saving turns, yeah. Let me see here. Where's death? <laughs> oh, death for <while> odds out. <laughs> yeah. Joseph, you're understanding though, right? I might pay attention, but I, oh, yeah, right. I, yeah. I, I, well, I we we, we talked about it, yeah. So he understands. Yeah. So how death works? A death test. Say you went down on a minor wound. You're not exactly mm -hmm. dead yet, but you're mortally wounded. 
the last wound inflicted on you was a minor wound, you have to roll a... Let's see here. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how many dice you have to roll. Oh, okay. So you take your highest attribute, which would be body, right? Roll the die, and then for a minor wound, it would be a difficulty of four. So you would have to mm -hmm. have one four in order to pass the test, and you become uh, basically stable, right? Say you yeah, got it's the same you, throw, right? Then you get say you get downed by a deadly wound. You would have to uh, roll three dice with a result of four or higher in order to survive. Mm -hmm. So it could get pretty hard. And there's a whole bunch of other like things that happen as well. That's how combat works right there. Initiative is same in D and D determines the order. Only you don't roll for initiative. It's basically like okay, this is the order of battle. Uh now how attacks work. So you have two cutlasses, right? Actually I have two mm -hmm. cutlasses. I note that on your sheet right there. So how shit? How cut how you if you're dual wielding, in your case, you still have four D six, but you're able to split those four dice amongst your enemies. So with one hand you can maybe do like one D six and then on your other hand you do three D six and you redirect them towards like enemies. Pretty much how it is. Oh, okay. All that, junk. and then these are your talents right here. That's just for you to read and know about. I have them on my page reference. Drops, files, and spears are basically the currency in the world, and that's pretty much the basic gameplay. You know, other than that, it's the same as D and D. You just say what you want. To So, uh, Joseph, did you figure out a name for your character, by the way? Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, let me get my notebook and I write all my stuff down. I'm gonna go with... I'll be right back. Uh, I'm still listening. I have wireless headphones. Hmm. O tricks. O tricks. O tricks. O T R I X. O tricks. O tricks. O tricks. I'm gonna be the same age as I am now. No, I'll be like 35. Hey, what's going on? I'll be right back. I gotta pee. Okay. No, I'll go. Let's. Red eyes and white hair. Okay, I'm just gonna be uh, stuffing my face real quick. Five eleven. I'll be. 180 pounds. Perfect! What's up, Chris? What is up, Chris? Not much. Chris, did you ever figure out a name for your character? Um. I mean, I kind of just threw a name on there. I don't know if I like it yet. <clears throat> okay. Was it, um, um, Ashan or Ashan? A S A S H O N. A S H O N. Yeah, like Ash on. Your true revenant. Did you figure out a title yet, or is it just a Sean? Oh no, I'm not good with titles, so. Okay. <laughs> just kind of like. And then. I'm a this dude. Is Autrix. And the NPC, which is my own character, his name is Justinian. Justinian Stormwrath. By the way, are we playing this on something? Huh? Are we playing this on something? Uh, for the most part, just on Discord. If we need to roll, we'll be doing on roll twenty. Can I roll my own dice? Yeah, if you want to. Sweet. Just, just be not. Just uh, don't cheat.
<laughs> Believe me, like it, it's crossed my mind so many times because uh, when I play D and D, we roll, uh, uh, roll use like our own dice. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, like, yesterday, I had advantage on an attack roll, right? Or not yesterday, Wednesday. And like I had an advantage on attack roll. I rolled two die. Both of them came up as three. So I'm just like, I. <laughs> Just be like that sometimes. So the full name of the NPC, which will be my character whenever I play my own campaign, is Justinian Storm's Wrath, the Iron Hand. And I guess we could like introduce character. The reason why he's called the Iron Hand is because there was one, uh, whenever he was mortal, his his uh he was defending uh basically a group of small children i'm i'm making this shit up by the way he defended uh-huh. he was defending a group of small children from um the demons of corn and corn is the 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 chaos chaos god of uh blood war honor violence gore etc etc right and his demons actually look like this. Uh, pull up. You know what? They look like this. I'm gonna put the pictures in the. Um, In the Soulbound RPG. By the way, I want to move one of my skills, or I want to tra- change my training in one of my skills because I didn't okay. realize my I didn't realize my way pipe um, things they uh, use entertain. So, uh, okay. So I'm a move That's a point fine. from my fortitude. That's good. Mm-hmm. So blood letters look like this, right? So Iron Hand. Mm-hmm. He was defending a bunch of children from these demons who wanted to basically skewer them with their huge ass swords and drink their blood. And it's Iron like Hand, boss. huh? So it looks like a RuneScape boss, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Hand, being the courageous individual that he is, um, decided that he would jump in and start just punching the demons, and basically he killed them with his bare hand, his bare fist badass yeah so it got to the point where a bunch of of these blood letters came up to him he was stabbed so many times and keep in mind that these swords of these demons they actually uh have a effect where you bleed more than you would actually would if it was just a small cut so like even a paper cut you would be hemorrhaging so oh fuck yeah so justinian back then was known as uh we'll call him um Hmm. What's a German name that starts with a J. Dude? Joseph. Hmm. Yo. German name <laughs> starting with J. Jakob, Josen, Johan. Yeah, yo. Yeah, Jakob. Johan. We'll call him Jakob. Yo- yo. So, so Jakob. <laughs> Jakob, he already dying and bleeding from all these wounds. Um. Before he died, Sigmar was like, I like this man. He snatched him up and he became a Stormcast Eternal. That is the story of Justinian Storm's Wrath, the Iron Hand. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And then how he he met you guys, basically he was sent by Sigmar to, to escort you to find a city in his name. Or mortals, so that they don't have to die in chaos land. <laughs> Hell yeah! If anyone wants to kind of bullshit their story too, so that uh, we could uh, figure things out. We could always retcon, by the way. Okay. Mm-hmm. And figure out I how we like, figured out. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, because we could always figure out. We could always figure out how to uh, <laughs> how how everyone meet met up. We're we're finding a way how we met up. Basically, I was sent down. To guide you guys to a suitable area to establish a city. There we go. Okay. That's my connection. Okay, right. Yeah. So 
our connection is to you know find the chapel on the beacon on the hill right for for the imperium of man and uh, <laughs> you pro- exactly and you probably came across my uh, elf kleptomaniac ass by I don't know you probably saw me doing some uh, whack shit and you're like huh, I could probably put this man's skills to use because you saw me blatantly steal something and I uh, literally just fast talked my way out of getting into any trouble. Okay. And knowing how to navigate the criminal underworld in t- in the uh, in the manner that I did, you would probably think this man has uh, connections or woman, whatever the character gender is. Yeah, I'm a man. I'm a man. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was talking about my character. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So, uh, so th- Brayer, and how how did you uh, get the name, the criminal of the uh, what was it, criminal of something? I forgot what yours is. Of Born the in the mountain, sea. raised in the cave. Trucking on the high seas is all I crave. <laughs> <laughs> what were you, um... What, what did you do exactly that got you the moniker Criminal of the Crescent Sea? Why are you infamous in that area? What did you do? <clears throat> You there? <laughs> oh, okay. Rip. Feels bad. Feels bad. Um, so I just want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, Chris, real quick, what would your la- your your forename? Yeah, your surname. Wait, surname or forename? Surname. What would your surname be? Just make it up, real quick. Make it nature related too. All right, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, so the way I came to be known as the Crescent of the High Sea, sorry, uh, the criminal of the Crescent Sea is that much like many street urchins of my, uh, uh, of where I hailed, I was an orphanless fuck that basically escaped poverty and forced human trafficking by <laughs> learning how to, exactly, by learning Wanted how to- for slavery. Exactly. So pretty much like I escaped, I escaped my own misfortune by pretty much like Robin Hooding slash like thievery. And then I pissed off the wrong governor and stole some shit that wasn't mine. And, uh, ret- you know, and basically uh, found a, found refuge in the sea where no man can touch me. Okay, so Brian being the criminal of the Crescent Sea actually has a crew. What is the name of your black arc? Basically. Hmm. The Duchess. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming your uh main trade is slave dealing in slavery. So smuggling, and then part of what probably caused the rift between me and the governor of uh whatever like whatever. the governor of the regioning area that I was from is that I found out that some literally want, I uh, would huh. You're wanted in the city of Andium, by the way. Exactly. So I probably pissed off the governor by refusing to move something that literally was like the fate I escaped. So probably uh, he wanted me to move like uh, pretty much slaves. And I was probably like, fuck no. And then um, being that that struck a sense of nerve, I was like, nah, fuck you, my man. And uh, oh. basically just set them free and then also fucked up a lot of his uh, facilities and uh things that okay. were Okay. So you're a good pirate. More like chaotic neutral pirate like okay. I'm I'm obviously not above stealing for my own personal gain, but if it's something that affects me personally or occasionally helps the little man, then yes, I will do it. Gotcha. Okay. Got to touch you. So you do have your own crew, but you are away from them at the moment. Uh cool. Uh, now, Autrix. Yo. You are a bright wizard from the Collegiate Arcanum. So, what did you do to basically be recognized as a great bright wizard? Make some. Oh, uh, great bright wizard. That's not fun. <laughs> I mean, a bright wizard is a fire wizard. Yeah. They say my fireballs burn hotter than the sun. Fireballs are hotter than 
Man's got hot balls. Cannot lie. Yes, I do. <laughs> and I can throw them around at people. So at the college at which you were, uh, you know, doing your magical shit, did you have like a test to see who had the hottest fireball? Well, considering that when I threw my fireball for the first time, half of the school melted. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> melted half his school and half his school on first fireball. There you go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Lemon squeezy. Okay. Now, have you contributed to the study of the arcade? Uh, you could I don't say, know. You could say, like, you studied how oh. to make your fireballs more destructive. I mean, what's more destructive than the fucking sun? Huh? <laughs> I'll just say I helped research, like, old gods and how to, like, uh, I guess, like, connect with them on a spiritual level to increase spell power. So did research on the gods of the world that was... And then you said you use that research to do what? Um, find ways to increase spell power. And how did you... So Sigmar himself came to you in a dream and he told you that he wants you and other soul bound to find a city in his name serve as a safe haven right how did you get to the city that you guys will be starting in which is in hammer hall did you start off was your school in hammer hall was it somewhere else and walked over um there was word of another arcane mage there who uh, uh who had like Who had a connection to the old gods that I wanted to like? Okay, you study. wanted to study with them. Yeah. So, how did Brayern and Autrix meet? Let's say Brayern. Was in Hammer Hall doing, I don't know, what crime are you doing? Uh, what's the city known for in terms of like. So, Hammer Hall? Uh huh. Hammer Hall is like a, it's a one, it's a one of the bigger cities in, in Akshi, which is the realm of fire. Um, so it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's, right? it's like a major city, you know? Mm hmm. He probably found me trying to move some hella rare like ingredient for uh, some kind of incantation, and I was like, I don't give a fuck about this magic shit. I just want to make money. And someone okay. told me that this horn of this animal, uh, you know, is worth a shit ton of money. And him overhearing this is like, what the fucking fuck is this fuck ass doing with this goddamn horn? <laughs> this horny bastard, if you will. And uh, he probably overheard me getting drunk at a pub and talking about it. And then that's how we met is that he was like, hey, you really need to shut the fuck up about that because that will get you in, you know, hot water. OK. And it was like, yeah. And it was like, OK, this guy's not so bad. You know, maybe I can trust him. OK. All right, Chris, back to you, Ashan. Figure out what your last name is. Then really quick, Basam, if you could tell me what your initiative number is. Uh, la, 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 la. Well, that it is uh, four. Sylvan is usually go by just one name. It could go by one name, or um, they could, like... 
basically they could go they could uh their second name would be from what glade but uh um, not basically like what what's glen of riverdale from? there you go riverdale <laughs> All right, pull out this generator. Chill wood. <laughs> chill wood. The chill wood, man. <laughs> <laughs> the dank wood. The dank wood. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, well, what's your uh, Joseph and the Sam? What's your um initiative? My initiative is four. Five. Chris, what was yours? Four. Do you want to be? Do you want to be a Sean Dankwood? A A L M O. A Sean Dankwood. Fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> All right, Dankwood, it is. Just All right, gotta, so you just gotta be one with nature, man. Just... <laughs> just, I'm just vibing, bro. Okay, so a Sean Dankwood, you originally came from the realm of Lyco Garan. How did you get to the realm of fire? What did the, what did the goddess Alariel tell you to do? Same. Did she come? Did she tell you to go to the realm of fire and make a safe haven for other Sylvaneth there? Uh, did she send you to find something? Hatch a forest or so that could. Uh, serve as sanctuary yeah okay so let's go with like a. Uh, she's like hey yo go go forth and build a sanctuary so we can you know blaze it up and all that anyway. <laughs> <Yo! Now you came through the realm gate from Garan to Akshi, right? Because in in uh, Hammer Hall, there's two sides of the city, and one half of the city is called Hammer Hall Hammer Hall Aksha, which is the fire, the realm of uh, the the realm of fires half of Hammer Hall, and then on the other side there's Hammer Hall, um, it was like Gyra or something like that, and that's the Garan side of the city so you cross the city how did you come across other so we essentially got what is it like a, a wizard and a pirate yes <clears throat> see and you've never been to the realm of fire let's say you've never been to the realm of fire you just happen to Meet one of them or both of them. Let's say I met both of them. And so they're like, hey look, I saw these guys they seem like some pretty chill bros, you know? <laughs> I'm <Okay>. just like <laughs> Okay. Like, yo. They seem like they want a good smoke. Like, hey, you yeah. want you want some of this, man? <laughs> <laughs> you offered them uh, calming some of herbs. The, the dank Kush. <laughs> offered... You want that that sticky icky? <laughs> why why would you offer them? Were they fighting over something? What? I don't know. Sometimes you just feel led, you know. <laughs> They seem. <laughs> <laughs> so the, you don't know it yet, but you guys were sent by your um, respective gods. Basically, find a city where humans, elves, dwarves, and Sylvanas have a safe haven in the middle of land. Chaos Marauders, Warriors, and now, in addition to all the chaos, a whole ton of dead ghosts 
zombies and that why you have come videos hammer hall all around you you see tall spires giants eight foot men um, that you know to be stormcast eternals in their full regalia with heavy armor shields and weapons um you're in the middle of the marketplace merchants various wares Bards from Gur, water from Giran. Come in, come one, come all. Get your supplies here. What do you want to do? <clears throat> so we're in like the open marketplace, right? Correct. And you do not have any supplies on you. No, mm -hmm. no bed rolls, no ration. Anything you need to survive. Uh, I spend the uh the uh, like the required amount to get whatever um like as, I think it like the general thing is like a survivor pack for like uh was it like five silver or something like that where it has like a bedroll rations um a tinder box all the stuff that you need. Okay, so let's say in order to so you approach the market, please. Um, oh, sir. Hope you will not be stealing my wares. Eh, hey, how may I help you? My good sir, that's quite a charged accusation. I'm but a humble man wanting to get some goods. What is it that you, uh, what, what makes you think that I'm so sus? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it may be because I've seen your face here. Uh, what, what'd you say? Hold on, hold on. can't mute my mic. Okay, it may be because I've seen posters with your face plastered. Uh, Ryan, my good the criminal sir. of the Crescent Sea. What? What would make you say... Hold on, I'm, I'm looking up a uh, silver tongue real quick. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, uh, I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. It's loading. Uh, while he's bartering, what do you guys want to do? Sean, what? What is there to do? I mean, you're in the marketplace. Uh, like I said, you don't have any of the required. You don't have like <clears throat> food. No, no. Basically, I've in the. All right, I'm gonna go look for food then. Ration. Say, so, like, is there like a list of things that I would like need to get? Not exactly, but if you can think of it, they probably have it in all the hammer home. in mind right. that you um they deal in drops of aqua yeah. money so if i wanted to make a silver tongue roll what uh would that be my age is it 89 it just says like I have uh, a check to certain. Let me see. So, silver tongue. You have advantage. You have a way with words post. and can be very persuasive. You had advantage on a post test when attempting to persuade, deceive, or seduce others. So, pretty much what I'm going to do is just try and be like, my man, do you have me con uh, confused for somebody else? You know, I just have one of those faces. I am but a <laughs> humble, a, a humble uh, citizen of upstanding. Good, uh, law abiding citizen. These are not the droids you're looking for. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> trying to Jedi mind trick his ass. Okay, so. Yes, you would use your uh, dial, right? That mm -hmm. would be a mind skill, I believe. 
I remember. Which I have a focus on, so I have four dice. Or no, it'd be three dice because I have two. You have, have training mind. on it. You have two in mind, so yeah, you have three dice to mm -hmm. roll. And I'm gonna have you roll them, and then uh, just roll them, and then tell me what your results. Are. Or you could so, roll. Oh, uh, in the chat box in roll twenty, go ahead and just put like roll, uh, or uh, roll three. 3d6, okay. Roll three. 3d6. Plow, plow. I got a nine. We have a one, two. Mm -hmm. And what did you say to the merchant again? Basically, I was telling him, my mans, you have me con confused for someone else. I just have one of those faces. Oh, wait, no. In fact, I double down and say, do all, um, uh, la, 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 la. Do all, uh, uh, do all elves look the same to you? Racist. Exactly, like trying to make him feel bad, and then hopefully, like out of guilt, he'll <laughs> give me something for free. No, no, uh, of course. I, I happen to be half elf myself. Ah, oh, then you are practically brothers. Perhaps, perhaps. Let's say um, I didn't see. I am juggling. What 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 do you need? Do you uh, oh, what what does any adventurer need? Well, uh, well you will probably need. Back, mm -hmm. bag, that sounds wonderful. Some food. Also, it would be pretty nice. <laughs> Perhaps some rope. Uh, he goes on and lists all these other stuff that you may or may not even need. Hell yeah, brother. Making a shopping list right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so give me that rope. Pack. And drops. Rations. Five days worth of rations. Fifteen drops. Uh huh. Wait, how many drops did we start off with? So you, if you go roll, if you scroll down on the currency, you have 40. Okay. Um, yeah, rope, pack, rations, bedroll, slash uh, survivor pack. So the backpack would be 20. So currently you're looking at spending 45 <clears throat> straight up, just 45, no bedroll. <laughs> Well, snap. It looks like I'm going to have to get a five-finger discount somewhere. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, while I'm interacting with this man, I'm looking around at uh, other stalls that have uh, better rolls. Do I see one? Yeah, you, you see other stalls. You see a uh, what looks to be a, a dwarf peddling his goods to oncoming, oncoming uh, travelers mm -hmm. and People of uh, Hammer Hall alike. And I'm looking around, and do I see any cages with like livestock or anything like that, like uh, animals oh. or chickens or something like that in cages? Yeah, you see, you see a uh, like hunter is some live animal. Looks to be chickens, and all rabbits, something that looks like rabbits. I don't know equivalent with world, but. Mm -hmm. You know, small game. Well, mm -hmm. still alive, of course. So I, you, yeah, you tell me whatever checks I need to <clears throat> pass in order to do this. But after you know, getting the the rations and rope and bedroll from uh, my, my half elf homie, yeah. uh, I pick up a rock and I uh, throw. I I try to like depending on how the cages are set up. I'm basically trying like spook the animals so everyone kind of like turns their attention towards them and then i'm gonna go try and like oh hey look at that this bedroll just fell off this dwarf's uh <laughs> little shacky shack oh wow, wow wow look at that it magically appeared in my backpack it only that bad man uh okay so go ahead and roll dexterity check so, so that would be would be a body skill body. Be a body skill so you have training in it one plus that's three of them four of them go ahead and roll on on roll 20 and i'll let you know. d uh 1d 3d 20 or 
Uh, it would be 46. And you have one focus. Okay, so the survey says 14. What would be needed to light a torch? Like, what item would that be? You could use Joseph. The fire. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, he, he's, All right, he's, sounds good to me. He's got that yeah, yeah. Lighter, got come over here. <laughs> Human torch. Pulls out my pipe. Hey, hook me up, man. <laughs> Did it. Uh, okay, so you need to have... You have one uh, focus, right? In yes. So you needed to have uh, a four to three, like a four. You no, know I think from now on, I'll just say what the number is. And you needed to have a different. So you have currently yeah. two results that are passing. Uh -huh. One focus. <clears throat> Do you have a D20 thing, a uh, roll 20 thing open, Josh? Yeah, I sent a link on the uh, RPG channel. Ah, okay, there it is. Gotcha, gotcha. Roger, roger. Oh, I had to, we might have to uh, cut this a bit short because apparently I had to pick my mom. You can always pick it back up. Oh my god. Yeah, we could always pick it back up. Uh, I know that. Uh, she said I have to be at the hospital at eight, and it's already seven thirty. And I'm like, fuck. No, that's all right. So I'd have to cut it short. Uh, but but Sam said he had to go at eight thirty, right? Yeah, I had to I had to take care of something at that time. So it's... okay, well we'll call this we'll call this uh, session zero anyway, and we'll mm -hmm. figure it out. We basically kind of fleshed out your characters more often. Uh, we could continue on with the adventure, I guess. I don't know, like early tomorrow or something. I don't know. Up to you guys, honestly. Right. For, yeah, another, for like another, like for another hour, you know. Typing mm -hmm. up my Just shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, my my current bill right now is what 166 drops. So I'm still. How many drops do you have? 280. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! How do you have that many drops? I don't in? know. That's what the and number Sam, you told me. Sam only has 45. <laughs> <laughs> He's the he's the poorest pirate in the freaking Crescent Sea, apparently. Because he doesn't use money. He just takes what he wants. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> I like wants. it. Um, okay, so what did you want to do? So you have one focus left, Sam, and you, you needed three fours to pass. pass. Uh-huh. So, did you want to so use three? Focus? So, I have three fours, or I need three fours, but I only have one four right yeah, now. So no, I four and above, four and above. I mean, so you have two fours right here. Oh, you have two passing results out of the four. You need mm -hmm. three and passing results. How many, results. how many focuses do I have, like, per extended, like, per instance, right? Like, how many times can I use in a round slash? Right now, like, so per roll, you have one focus. Yeah, I'll in use future, it. Fuck it. Yeah, in future, well, I, you would you? I I would use it honestly. It's a, otherwise, yeah, I want to I want to do some cool guy rogue shit. Let me do some cool guy rogue shit. So just roll another. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Basically, what focus is? It, you add one or however many focus you have. Say you had like three focus in that that skill. You would. Oh, okay, gotcha. You could distribute so it can... to one of your rolls. Okay, so now with that one focus, that three is a four, and then I right. successfully and you diggity pass. diggity uh, bamboozle people into looking at the 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 animal, the right, yeah, the husbandry uh, shop, and then I'm like, oh hey, look at this uh, handy dandy bedroll that magically appeared concealed in my backpack yeah, yeah. that I bought legitimately. Okay, so so would you like to describe how you uh, went about this action? So basically, I, I glance around and I see uh -huh. the open marketplace and everyone's kind of like busy with their own tunnel vision dealing with their stuff. So I see a rock and I see one of the cages and I find the loose most uh, uh, like cage that has like an animal and then walking by uh, or like I pretty much just like look for some kind of like awning or clearing, mm -hmm. position myself near the dwarf's stand, throw the rock. The rock uh, basically spooks one of the animals or like fucks up the cage, and then everybody turns their focus to the animal. 
And then I'm like, uh, weasel wazzle, you know, there goes my fingers. I'm <laughs> taking me a little bedroll. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> now, now, you have the bedroll. Do you... Uh, it can chill the, in my backpack. Do you use the chaos to just uh, run away? Yeah, pretty much just, like, disappear in, like, an alley and then just, like, go about my business. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Fair enough. You have a bedroll, some rations, five days worth of rations. What else? Uh, the rope backpack and, and rope mm -hmm. right okay now uh while chris is making a shopping list how do you obtain your supplies options hmm. i guess i'm just gonna try to barter with someone okay does i have uh i think i have Ooh, what was it guile no it would be under. It could yeah. be under a guile. Yeah. Like cunning, you know. All right. Wait, what do I already have? <clears throat> so as a uh, as as a uh, Brayern does his shenanigans to get what he needs, you observe a elf merchant with basically what you need, which is essentially a backpack, you know, food. Do we need a backpack? You don't need one, but it's highly recommended. God damn it. <laughs> Where else are you going to put the things you find? Just going to yeah. carry it like a badass. <laughs> Shove it up use, your use it. Use <laughs> you, can just use, you can use magic to just like have it levitate, I guess. Right. Do we need clothes? You already have clothes, right? You already have your clothes, yeah. Whatever's on your back is what you But if you want right. fine clothes. I got to do some <laughs> math here. Where's the, where's the pen? Okay, so while he's figuring so, uh, that out, I, Chris... I walk up with with my shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> Thank wood with the shopping list, okay? Yeah, I, I need a um, I need a, a backpack, um, a bedroll, okay, some rations, a rope, a is, tent, is this a the torch and is, water skin? Is this the mar merchant that uh, <laughs> that was supposed to be where Autrix buys his stuff, but uh, you decided to snipe him and just get his <clears> shit? <laughs> I'm just like wh whoever looks like they got what I need. Like, okay, so let's just say it's a human merchant. I have what you need. <laughs> a human merchant. Uh, you, you you spot a human merchant with a with red hair and a like a grandiose mustache. And... Ah, Sylvanus. Whatever do you need? Yeah, I can uh, use a couple of supplies here, and I and like what is it? I I hand over a, a parchment with the list of things that I'm looking for. Oh, oh, um, what did you need again? Yeah, hold on. Uh, let me uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let me just copy paste this. Yeah, copy paste it in the chat so that uh, you could just uh. You want to put it in the Discord? Yeah, I'll put it in Discord. Why not? All right. <clears throat> Bed pack, bed roll, rations, rope, tent, torch. Hmm, wherever did you get all this drops of aqua garanis? Uh, what can I say, man? I, I, I'm blessed. <laughs> blessed, eh? By whom? Uh, you know, Alariel. Al 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 how do you say it? Alariel. Al mm -hmm. Takes good care of <laughs> He looks at you, looks at you up and down. You can clearly see he's very, um, he's very suspicious as to how much you got that money. You sense, you sense a bit of, uh, you know, not, I guess racism, I guess you could say it is. Mm -hmm. How do you, uh, he's very hesitant and it looks like you might have to persuade him some. I may sell it to you. Uh, how much was the total? Did you? Uh, it came out know? to one one hundred sixty six, or not? Yeah, one hundred sixty six. Perhaps I can sell it to you, Silver, for two hundred. Oops. Hmm. How about uh? Let's see. 
I'm at 180. 180. So based on your natural awareness, you could tell that he's clearly cheating you. And he thinks you are some uh, stupid forest bloke. He could scam. <laughs> Did you want to try and uh, steal the shit from him somehow? Because <laughs> we're already just dumping stuff <laughs> into, like, let's steal things. Like, <laughs> you can always just try and intimidate him, too, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure, let's, um, l let me, let me try to... What's your it? intimidation? Oh, fuck, I don't, I don't have training on it. It would what be a it? mind oh. skill, right? Yeah, that's only two. What? Oh, perhaps I can entertain him <laughs> <laughs> with my with my white pipes. Just play some music. He okay. So he's just looking at you up and down. He doesn't. He's like you know, still waiting on your offer. You go. Perhaps I could pay with music <laughs> or something. I don't know. How would you say it? Yes, perhaps, um, what is it, a little, uh, tune to soothe your soul. I've never heard a Sylvanith song before. Entertain! Yeah, go ahead and roll an entertain check. Okay, I believe that's, um, what is that, mind, right? Or... Uh, an entertain check would be... I believe it is mind. Let me check. <clears throat> what the fuck is it? soul check? Oh, soul check. <laughs> Got that soul, man. That soul, man. Soul, soul, man. Yeah, okay, that soul. is gonna be three, four, five. Three, four, and a five. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> you pull out your wave pipes and you play a. A song from your glade that clearly brings a man to tears. Never before have I heard a song like that. How much was? How much were you offering before? Uh, was it one hundred and eighty? With us, with a performance like that, how about one hundred and sixty-five? And it's all yours. All right, I'll take it. There you go. Dankwood changed the man's heart. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, so he got his materials, and how does Autrix get his materials? Alright, I have a question first. How how do I look? Do I look rich or do I look poor? <laughs> how do I look? <laughs> you just look like a you look like a regular you you know you middle okay. class, just a robe. You look like an intellectual. Okay. I'm gonna walk into a store and ask for the things I listed: backpack, bedroll, rations, water skin, a crowbar. Okay. But I wanna, I wanna, I wanna walk in as if like I don't have much money on me. <laughs> you wanna look poor? Yeah, it's, it's all part <laughs> of my scheme. <laughs> oh, fifty peasants! All this scheming and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> fifty peasants out of my out out of my store. <laughs> Says the. Uh, uh, a uh, an elf, uh, what looks like to be a high elf. Oh, he's a high elf. Okay, I'll walk yeah. out, look for a store who's not racist. I don't support people like that. <laughs> <laughs> he just called you a peasant. I don't think you. I don't, you didn't sense any of like. I was like, did you go in perhaps? like looking like you don't have money? <laughs> he, he perhaps well, has no, a hate okay. for the poor, but not, not a hate for the uh, not hate for humans in particular. Okay. Casually, I just chime in like, "Yeah, what the hell is going on with this guy? Like, you know, he's just being a racist piece of shit. Come, never come over here. Like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy?" Just and then, like, I, walks up. whenever a ruckus starts happening, I just start taking more shit. Just <laughs> just don't don't worry, he's a human. Up. It's not racist if he's a human. Oh just yeah, that's yeah obviously. Justinian the Stormcast walks up with his huge hammer, bangs it, bangs the ferrule of his hammer on the ground, and goes, <laughs> "Elf, your hatred is noted." And the elf instantly cowers in fear. 
if you do. I, I'll walk up to the shop bar and be like, look, if you don't want my friend to hurt you here, <laughs> I want these items. <laughs> I want a 20% discount. <laughs> There are 53. It's 53, oh, 53. total? That are just saying, it's a lovely shop you have here. How if much you do you have, have something were to happen to it? Uh, I have <laughs> 185. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> that... no I also ones. have uh, Guile, so you know I'm going to charm him a little bit. Okay. To do some. Maybe to touch his hand a little bit. <laughs> Feel him up a little. Yeah, but like, hey. <laughs> you want to deal with me? Deal with me. <laughs> Justinian, sensing that he no longer needs his help, walks out of the door. The elf stands back up and says, Don't bring that oaf back in again. Cost will be a hundred drops. A hundred drops? That's double the price! <laughs> Hey man, you know he's gotta he's gotta make a he's gotta make money somehow. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna play the scary game then. I'm, i grab him by his neck <laughs> and with my oh. finger I make a small fireball. <laughs> that slowly yeah. starts melting in store. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> That's melting what do you what do you say with this this snap sized fireball in your fingertips? No, I, I'm just holding it and just giving him an ounce <laughs> you of go, power. You go like, listen, bub, if you don't give me the freaking shit that I asked for. <laughs> I pay MSRP, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay no markup. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and he's like, oh, a fireball. I could cast that in my sleep. Your, your magic does not scare me. <laughs> Man, how evil do I want to go? <laughs> what do What do I have to roll to sneak up behind him and then take one of my um my cutlasses and like poke him in the back with it? Magic might not be of that a particular. Be, uh, I believe that would be a dexterity check as well. Hey, Liam, yeah, my man, let's let's see it. Let's see it. All, All right, right slash. <laughs> slash. Oh no, stealth, yeah, stealth, stealth, more like. So slash roll and then stealth is it's a body. Uh, no, no. body yeah. Body yaddy 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 yaddy. So I get to have four, so it's forty six. Correct. Oof. Okay. You successfully sneak behind him with your your rapier pressed up against his Magic might be of no concern to you, my friend, but this steel is very real, let me assure you. <laughs> Give the man what he wants, and maybe we could have repeat business. If not, I think this transaction would be the least of your concerns. You do not scare me, Black Ark. I happen to serve in the Remgate Wars years ago. And he um, escapes the uh, grip of Autrix and pulls out a two daggers. Oh, you will give me the price I ask, else we get the stormcasts involved and violence and blood has to be. You can tell this guy's uh pretty big. He asshole. plays for keeps. He he uh, plays for keeps. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna tell him. Look, but if you don't want to lose all of your products here, how about you give it to me for seventy five? Okay, uh, go ahead and do an intimidation. And do you do this with a do you do this with a growing fireball in your hand? No, I extinguish it. I want to use my guile, like try to be like guile. Persuasive. Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, that's how you use guile, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, be like, okay, be like, hey man, look, we don't want to start a fight. I just thought you were ripping me <laughs> off, but like, let's just. Let's just settle in the middle at 75. All right, go ahead and roll a goggle check. All right, so I'm going to need... Uh, it's a mind, right? Correct. So 5, 5d6. Uh-huh. Wait, what? How do you do this? Slash roll 5d6. Oh, slash roll. Right. Boom. Okay, so you needed a. You needed a. Mm. 
you pass. Nice. He sheathes his blades and goes, Your courage is uh, well noted. He sheathes his blades. 75 drops it in. Anything uh, else? Nope. Pay him his money, slap him, walk out. <laughs> you slap him? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you slap Literally him. a walkout saying, Bitch boy! What he meant is that he slaps his ass on his way out. <laughs> like, thanks, man. Give a little <laughs> wink. <laughs> Alright, so you slapped him so hard. You, he, he underestimated your strength being a human mage and you knocked him out. Aren't I like weak AF? Huh? I tell the Sam to do it for me. There you go. Because <laughs> I'm weak. Brayer backhands the fucking elf and knocks him out. Wow, you guys are freaking evil already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, bro. I, I, I like wander over there hearing all this commotion, wondering what's happening. Justinian, hey, don't worry about him, okay? Justinian uh, staying outside the shop. What happens in there? Guards the door. <laughs> 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 all right. All right, so you guys are now ready to venture forth into the realm. Uh, we'll end it right here because I got to go pick my mom up. But uh, if you guys are down to play some more tomorrow, maybe around like maybe 12 or something for another hour, I am willing to uh, run it. Get some yeah, combat 12 sounds in. good. 12 is all right. I'm not going. Chris, um, I got uh, was it tomorrow. Was what, you got Sunday? church, right? I got church. Yeah. What time oh, that's right. Until what time you got church? What's up? Until until what time do you have church? Let's see. It's like from. I think I would be getting home around like probably some probably a little bit after twelve. I think actually. So uh, does one work for everyone? Yeah, I can do one. Yep. Yeah. All one. right, we'll call out one. <laughs> one. One. All right, guys. I'll see y'all later then. Good Adios. session. Later. Good session. It was pretty. Fun. Yeah, gang, gang. I like our right, creative, uh, our creative, uh, yeah. Yeah. Them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad that we were able to flesh out some characters more. Um, we'll um, get to the real adventuring starting tomorrow. All right, guys. See you. Do it. Adios. Sam. All right, so that was the first session of our Soulbound um, campaign. As you can see, my group, they're, they're still, they're, they're underestimating the world that we have in store for them. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Tomorrow we'll be streaming again. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna stream on Twitch for now. Just because, you know, Twitch is more for video games. I don't have a program that I, you know show off everything. That... Hopefully, the campaign itself, you know, it's uh, entertaining you. Fine happen to find this video and hope you guys can join tomorrow or watch the video for uh tomorrow's session that was session 0 0.5 i guess you could call it not session one of full bound guys uh have a good one and we'll continue on tomorrow <clears throat> anyway i gotta go pick my mom up and yeah, the thing about these streams, they're going to be uh, kind of uncut. So. <laughs> we all live our, with our parents, except uh, the Sam, so uh, I have our parents walking in. Whatever, right? And have a good...